This video is brought to you by Squarespace. When it comes to websites, online stores, etc., there's no place to build a beautiful online presence like Squarespace. Folks, we're about to get real deep in awards season, and it's time to talk about it. Last year, weeks before the Oscars, I was very confident that Green Book would win Best Picture, even though obviously that wasn't my pick. Thanks to what I know about the Oscars and my heavy dose of pessimism, I was pretty confident about Green Book taking home the award, even though, again, looking back at it, it was an awful decision. I want Marriage Story to win, I want Parasite to win, I think both have a pretty good chance, I think both should win, but if we're being honest, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood will win Best Picture, and here's why. Now, I feel like your first counter-argument could be the fact that this movie, of all movies, is the least critically acclaimed. People love Marriage Story, they love Parasite, they love The Irishman, and most recently they love 1917. People do love Once Upon a Time, but perhaps not as universally. I'm here to say that this doesn't matter. One, remember Green Book? While it was initially met with a lot of love at TIFF, it was not met with the same praise as time went on, rightfully so. Clearly, whether or not a movie is critically the best picture of the year has nothing to do with what actually ends up being the best picture. Plus, I like this movie. Do I think it's best picture worthy? Absolutely not, holy shit, but I think most people can say it's a good enough time to be not too upset about it. You might also think, Karsten, this movie isn't saying anything remotely important. I mean, it's saying things, it's saying a lot, but let's look at previous winners. Moonlight, Green Book, Spotlight, the Oscars as of recent have really moved towards films that have something to say about society today. This is not me saying Joker's gonna win, that has absolutely no chance, but I digress. This makes sense because when you look at the history of the Oscars, you should know that the best picture represents each year pretty well. Why would we then give it to something like Once Upon a Time that represents a whole different time period? That's fair, I will acknowledge it, but look at something like Shape of Water, that wasn't saying a lot. Look at The Departed. I'm not saying these films are saying nothing, they're just not quote-unquote political films that happen to still take the award. So with all that out of the way, here's why I think Once Upon a Time has a great shot. I was somewhat on the train before the Globes, but now I'm pretty positive. This movie has a lot of traction going for it, and the Golden Globes are proof. Not to say the Globes are a surefire way of predicting the awards by any means, but this thing took home three giant awards. I really don't have a whole lot to say about it, but it sort of leads into my next point, which is... The Oscars love films that feel like Hollywood. Green Book, again, despite not being a great film, feels like an old-school Hollywood road trip film. It feels like a Best Picture winner. Shape of Water felt like kind of an old-school romance, but with a twist. Then you have The Artist, I mean, come on. My point is, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is the most old-school Hollywood film of the bunch here, for obvious reasons. I mean, it was the point of the film. Moving past that, it's worth keeping in mind the people voting, the Academy, a lot of whom live in Hollywood because it's the movie capital of the world, and people like seeing themselves on film. It comes as no shock that the Hollywood foreign press gave so many awards to Once upon a time in Hollywood at the Golden Globes. For a lot of people living in LA, this film serves as a fun nostalgia trip that also captures the energy of the city in a really accurate way. Sure, it's slow and not doing a whole lot for a good amount of the runtime, but when you're watching the place you're from on the big screen, you don't really care. If you didn't already know, Tarantino has never won Best Picture. Even something like Pulp Fiction, a film we look back on as one of the greatest of all times, lost to, uh, Forrest Gump. He is long overdue for a Best Picture win, and all of Hollywood knows that. Do I think this is the film he should win for? Absolutely not, but it would make a lot of sense. It, one, feels like a culmination of a lot of his work, it honestly is the most Tarantino thing possible, and perhaps the biggest reason is he's almost done making movies entirely. The one after this is his last one, you think they want to wait until then to throw him his recognition that he doesn't need? No, it would make total sense for it to be this. I mean, look at past long overdue wins. Leo winning for The Revenant after a career of better performances, Marty winning for The Departed after he made Taxi Driver and Goodfellas, this movie feels like it fits that tier for Tarantino where it's good, it's not his best, but it's the one that'll win the big award. Remember when I said this will please people? Well, I, I don't know. People, at least on Twitter, were not happy about it sweeping at the Globes. And it makes sense. The reason I was upset was that I thought everything else in that category deserved it just as, if not more. I mean, nothing for Knives Out, seriously. For that reason, the fact that it isn't the most loved thing already is enough to get people talking. But besides that, people have some concrete reasons to not like this film. For one, the Margot Robbie thing. Since the initial can release, people haven't really been vibing with the fact that Margot Robbie, the only female lead in the film, aka Sharon Tate, the center of what this story is quote-unquote really about has very few lines in the film. I will go out on a limb and say that I reject that hypothesis. I think it was on purpose and has meaning, but I won't get into it because that's not important right now. What I'm saying is this isn't the most socially aware film in the running. On top of that, there's the final scene, which I won't spoil in case anyone hasn't seen it, but it involves some pretty graphic violence towards a certain group of people. And again, I don't think it's the worst scene in the world. I thought the final act of that film was pretty great, but I can fully understand why it didn't go over well. And on top of that, I think Tarantino made his ego very clear at the Globes, essentially saying he has nobody to thank because because he wrote the script. Like, he elaborated
separated, but it wasn't a good look by any means. And then there's the foot fetish thing. I mean, come on. And I'm bringing all of this up because if a movie with all this stuff wins Best Picture, it's going to make people upset. People are going to be talking about the Oscars the same way they talked about Green Book. Once Upon a Time has that quality where it will make a good amount of people happy and a good amount of people pissed, and it'll stir up conversations and make you go, guess I gotta watch the Oscars. It gets the Oscars to look like they appreciate real cinema while pissing off cinephiles at the same time. Again, this is not by any means my pick for Best Picture, even though, again, I did like this film. I still have a lot of hope for Parasite, but I just don't want to get my hopes up. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Check out Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and form your own opinion. But before you head out, I want to give a quick thank you to this week's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace, if you didn't already know, is a place where you can go online to build a website, progress your brand, basically do what you need to do. They have a wide array of award-winning designer templates that will make whatever you make look amazing. And if you're like, I'm not really great at making websites, don't worry, they have 24-hour customer service. And to top it all off, if you use my code Karsten, that's squarespace.com slash Karsten, you can get 10% off of your first purchase. As you can tell, there's really no reason for you not to try it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out Squarespace, and I'll see you guys in the next one.